Hi, I'm Tara Lockery Grant. Thanks a million for joining us again on RTE.ie. Now I have my toy show visitor pass so we can be in only one place with all of this brilliant atmosphere, colours and lights. We're behind the scenes of the Late Late Toy Show. Am I on? Listen, everyone, RTE.ie, you're important to us. You're important to me. This is my new home. It's Christmas. Happy Christmas. Right. Huh? Totally You're here. Just Jesus, the wicked witch. <laughs> How did you get here? No, I'm Dorothy. My slippers are over here. Oh, somewhere. yes, yes, they are. So you're Dorothy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, of course you are. You're wearing you black. You look like the witch. Me. Well, no, but look, my sparkies. Too late. Turn yeah, no. out. Listen, tell yes. me. Memories. Your own big memories of the toy show. Remember, pyjamas. Comfortable. Couch. Sitting in front of, but not on. Fire. Roaring. But not you using it, because somebody else has to do that. Cake. Nice. Tea Time Express. Australian lair. Afternoon tea, top tin, uninfiltrated by Bold Sibling, Pink Wafer, and the argument over the chocolate biscuit with the jelly. That's Christmas. Brilliant. And will that be your any part of your routine today, getting ready for tonight? What's the question? I was just thinking of toys. <laughs> Little birds going around. Little birds floating around. About tonight, what is your routine to get ready? Oh, I don't know, because it's all new to me tonight. But what I will do is I'll probably get, um, I'll have my usual music. I might make, put, put Christmas music on the iPod for tonight, you know. Um, so that'll be fine. But there's so many, see, I, you love kids. I love kids. And, and they're all running around. And they're just, they just make you just want to, jump out and have fun. I mean, the, re the rehearsals for this show have been so much fun. I mean, God help the, the people behind the scenes, the producers and the researchers, are kind of looking at me going, you're 36 years old, but you're acting like you have 30 ye less years behind you. Uh, and that's what I'm, I'm loving that part of it. So the routine will be quite safe. I've had a lot of chocolate today. <laughs> so hence the giddiness. You've also said as well that as soon as you got the job at the Late Late, yeah. that your kids were so excited about tonight. What's their yeah. involvement going to be? Okay, well, we we will be showing them the set, obviously, and all that sort of thing. And they'll be kind of, uh, they're, they're watching from afar and kind of keeping an eye on things and asking about Jedward. <laughs> so now, they're involved. That brings us nicely to our next question. Yes. Rumours and talk of guests. But of I'm going to get this Jedward gel did, on my hair. They did sort of walk, it. they said it on the Willy show. Mm -hmm. That's okay. No, Jedward are, are, are going to be here later on. I'm not, I'm not afraid to say it now. And I can't wait to meet them. Look, we have been going through such hard times in, in this country and Jedward distracted us and they did so really well. So come on. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're wonderfully ridiculous. And now they we, know that. Aside from an amazing set, we, that we can a little bit peek out with there. Me, and you see. see. World of I probably would, but I would probably slide on the ground and give them my currents. I know. Oh, look at the babies. <laughs> 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 I am mortified. Don't. But tell me, uh, but, but, but. what sort of focus are you going to have on toys? Focus me? Year? I don't think so. On toys. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about, obviously, all sorts of toys. There will be a huge emphasis on toys that are, are affordable for people uh, because um, lot, you know things have changed in the country. So we are going to be able to say about a certain toy, this one is good value. You know. And then, of course, as, you know, I think it's important that if there are children watching, they should be aware that Santa Claus it doesn't have the same amount of staff. Uh, a lot of some of the elves you know, weren't around this year, so he can't deliver as much as he may have done before. So uh, we, we, we've been kind of in talks with his people about that. And uh, so I think that the expectations have to be lowered a little bit, but in a nice way. It'll still be Christmas, he'll still get stuff, but just whew, easy tigers. Down. Down, flying now, monkeys. Flying monkeys. Right, listen, break a leg tonight, can't wait to see it, and thanks for talking to us. Hey, listen. <laughs> so Jim, it's all happening down there. Rehearsals are in full action. What did you have to bring to the table? Like, how long have you, you been working on this Late Late Toy Show? Well, we actually started working on this last January, believe it or not. Uh, the first Toy Fair of the year happens in London in January, so uh, the researchers were over there. So uh, ever since then, they've been, you know, uh, going to toy shops, going to toy fairs. So, and then kind of like September, October, when we got back, it's when we started auditioning the kids. And so it kind of it goes through the whole year, kind of building up to tonight. Now, to the thousands of people who did apply for tickets and, of course, the lucky ones who get there, it is a lottery, really, isn't yeah, it? Explain it is. how it's done. Well, really, you know, we have thousands and thousands of people who apply for tickets, and the easiest and fairest way to do is we just do a straight, uh, straight lottery. So we draw out uh, people's names out of a hat and uh, we ring them up. And uh, it's uh, the uh, Caroline who organised our tickets. It's our best job of the year. 
because she rings people up and say, oh, by the way, you were looking for tickets for the toy show or for the late, for the late, late show. Well, I can offer you tickets for the toy show. So uh, she said she's had a great week, but obviously we are inundated with people looking for tickets. So, uh, you know, we can't obviously cater for everybody. So Now, I heard you were bribed with some very enticing offers, including a box of jumpers. What other type <laughs> of gifts have you got? The box of jumpers actually was the only thing. Uh, <laughs> although there have been, you know, crisps and chocolates and uh, Ryan is a chocoholic. So uh, we've been going through a lot of chocolate and sweets and stuff in the office to kind of get us in the mood for the toy show. Uh, but... Um, you know, that's about it, really. Well, you're definitely in the mood. Break a leg. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a million. Zena, how are you? Good. Now, you are only what age? Seven. I probably shouldn't say only, because that's a big age to you, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And tonight is kind of a big deal for you, isn't it? It's a very big deal. Do you know what? I think I'm giddier than you. You're playing it really cool. Let's tell everybody what you're doing. I'm singing on the Light Light Show show. Yay! And where have you been practising and who do you love that sings? Whitney Houston, Pink, almost everyone. I think, you know what, this might sound a little bit bold, but Zena, I think you might have sung a little bit, from what I heard earlier on, better than Whitney Houston sung at The X Factor. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> What's your favourite Whitney Houston song? Hmm. It's quite hard to choose. I guess the one I was singing. Yeah. We're not allowed to say the name, sure we're not? No. It's a surprise. See, you're very good. You'd be very good at playing games like um, the yes and no game. Yeah, probably. So there's nothing nothing we could do to make you say the name? No. <laughs> one thing. Go on, what? If you pay me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we might. <laughs> we might. How much would you do it for? Hmm. Five euro. Oh, yay! Five euro clads, quick whip round. First, what can we look forward to that's different? Um, well, do you know, in lots of ways it's going to be very much a traditional Late Late Show in that it's all about the kids and it's all about the toys. Um, and I th like that's really what people want to see. I mean, the main difference, obviously, is, is the obvious one, which is, is it's Ryan this time and it's not Pat. And I think Ryan would bring his own unique style to it. You know, I mean, Pat did it obviously very successfully for 10 years. But the main difference really is the, the sort of energy that Ryan will bring to it. And I think he'll have a great rapport with the kids. Uh, he's obviously, you know, as a big kid at heart, uh, he he likes the toys. He has been playing with them all week, and so I don't. That's, that's to me. That's a big difference. Anyway, is Ryan. Now, guests wise, two years ago there was Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> and um, who can you tell yeah. us now? Jedward out of themselves, as you know, obviously. Uh, who else can you tell us is coming up? Um, well, uh, I'm uh, not in a position to confirm <laughs> or deny that Westlife might be on the show. Ooh. Um, and uh, other than that, um, really, it's you'll have to wait and see. Right. I mean, they're you know, Jedward and Westlife, you know, as they're what bigger stars can you get at the moment? Dara, I can't believe it's been a year since we were talking to you last year about the set, and here we are with a brand new set, crammed full of kids over there getting ready for tonight. Tell us about your vision for this new one. Well, this one is uh, inspired by a movie that uh, is an old movie, and it's it's a, a very loose take on it, but that's where the inspiration comes from. And uh, you can see certain elements that hint at that particular I'm not going to say what they are, <laughs> you'll have to wait till tonight, but uh, that's, you know, we've, we've taken that and adjusted it to suit what we want to do here. And it's, it's fun and a, a quirky version as well. So we've left the studio and we're in the Late Late Toy Show Toy Hut. I did it, I said it in one. One of the other really important things, of course, is charities. Yeah. So tell us, obviously 